Well, my next guest has been Greece's culture and tourism minister since 2009. Pavos Yerulanos is still with us and he joins me now. Uh, thanks very much indeed for sticking with us. So let me start by asking you how much of a threat these strikes, these protests, these images of violence are to tourism in the country. Not very much at all. Um, you know that uh, in Greece we get about uh, 16 million tourists a year, so um, even the cancellations of last week are a tiny number, given that the events are very isolated in space as well as in time. This is, uh, unfortunately, the pictures have gone on around the world, but this is an event that happened one particular day. I mean, just looking at some of the images that we've seen over the past few weeks, I mean, we had, you know, more than 20,000 people crowding onto the streets of Athens. This is something that, you know, practically drew, the, it brought the, the, the capital city to a halt. Ports and airports were affected. How realistic is it, do you think, to meet that 10% that rise in tourism, that target for this year? How difficult is that going to be for you? I don't like to make predictions. I think it's too early in the year. I think the numbers are doing uh, well so far. Uh, the first, the first uh, six months, uh, we expected about a 15% increase in, um, in our arrivals. Uh, that means about, about a 6% increase in, uh, in income. Uh, we, and this is only from air traffic. We have um, increases from cruises and we have increases from uh, boating in the Aegean. So um, the numbers right now are looking um, to be heading in the right direction. Uh, our job is to continue our work, make sure that we leave the events of last week behind and move forward to, to a good season. Uh, what we see in Greece now is uh, last year we opened new markets um, and this year we have the old markets coming back and the new markets keeping up their growth. I mean, it's not just strikes and protests affecting tourism in the country, is it? It's also austerity. We were just looking uh, at the report that we had there. Uh, our, our reporter outside the National Archaeological Museum in the country saying the museum had been closed because you can't afford to, to staff it with enough guards. Uh, actually, we had um, a, a transfer of employees from um, the transport authorities to the museums and we've, um, we've extended the hours of all sites uh, and all museums throughout the day. Uh, the Archaeological Museum is an exception for very particular reasons. Um, in fact, uh, we have made the commitment for the first time that the Acropolis will be open all day, winter and summer, something that has never happened before. Uh, as more employees are coming from less productive sectors of the economy into tourism and into culture, um, these, uh, these problems are being alleviated and the Archaeological uh, Museum is... Uh, is the last one of, um, of the things that we need to uh, correct. Okay, so then can I ask you about funding to museums, archaeological, archaeological sites, cultural events in general? How much is funding being cut compared to last year? The budget of the ministry is cut at about 20% of a traditional budget. However, we are constantly finding new pockets of waste that we're cleaning up. Um, you know that uh, as we came in um, as a new government, uh, cutting down waste, um, the fighting against corruption, making sure that every euro goes to the right place uh, was our number one priority. And here at the ministry, it seems that we can continue our work um, quite effectively. The work um, up on the Acropolis, for example, which is very sensitive, is continuing. Um, excavations are continuing. Um, it seems that we are, we are functioning um, normally, even though we have cut our budget so, so drastically. Okay. Um, you said there's been a 20% cut in the budget in general. Can you be any more specific as to uh, where these cuts have been falling and which organizations have been impacted? Well, uh, certain organizations have closed or have been merged with other organizations that are, are, uh, were more effective in doing the job. Um, most, of the, most of the expenses that were cut were uh, either salaries or, um, or spending, but uh, we have managed to make up for that by working uh, more efficiently and uh, more effectively. Uh, it seemed, I, I would argue that today we're working um, uh, with, with very small differences than in the past, certainly not uh, reflecting that 20% cut, and in some cases uh, we, see, we see a reversal of, uh, of fortune because mm. And most of, most of the organizations that are under the ministry are now working within budget and uh, performing as well as they were before, such as the, the opera, um, the, the National Theater, yeah. the museums. 
uh, and things like that. They're working in budget. Mind you, right now is the Athens Festival, one of the foremost festivals um, in, in Europe, which is uh, working on the lower budget and producing even, uh, even more... Um, uh, Ms. Mr. Mr. Gerulanos, can I just ask you very quickly, do you expect tourism development to get something of a boost from the privatization plan? Yes, the, the, the most important thing that this government is doing is cutting down uh, all the processes uh, that uh, kept people from investing in Greece. I believe that as these processes um, uh, get simplified and people start looking into Greece as an opportunity, tourism will be one of the first sectors that they will look into. Pablo Sierolanos, the Culture Minister, Tourism Minister for Greece. Great to get your thoughts. Thank you very much indeed. Over